cause and effect in English. Which is true? Smoke causes fire or fire causes smoke. Fire causes smoke. Cause and effect. There are several ways to express this in English. Fire comes before smoke. Fire leads to smoke. Fire makes smoke happen. Sometimes it can be confusing. For example, fire is the cause of smoke. Smoke is caused by fire. What's the difference? Let's look at cause and effect individually. Cause, fire, effect, smoke. The word cause has two functions in English. It can be used as a noun or a verb. Let's take a step back. Where does fire come from? We can say the cause, meaning the noun or reason or source, or we can say cause, the verb meaning activate, produce, make something happen. For example, we can say matches cause fire. That means matches produce fire. Subject, verb, object. Or we can say matches are the cause of fire. That means matches are the source of fire. A equals B. Matches equals the source or the cause. Are you still with me? Now it's going to get a little more complicated. Here are some phrases with cause. For example, a virus caused the disease. This is simple subject, verb, object. There's no of here. The cause of the disease was a virus. In this case, the cause equals the virus. The disease was caused by a virus. In this case, the virus produced the disease. Let's look at each of these individually. Be the cause of. Actually, there are two patterns here. A is the cause of B, or the cause of B is A. The cause of the disease was a virus. The cause is the virus. This is the noun usage. A virus was the cause of the disease. In this case, the virus is the cause of the disease. The only difference is we moved the virus to the beginning of the sentence here, but it basically means the same thing. Now with be caused by, it's a little different. For example, a virus caused the disease. We're following the subject verb object pattern, meaning the virus made the disease happen. But if we change that to the passive voice, we use the word by. The disease was caused by a virus. The topic here of the sentence is the disease. So we've kind of switched it from virus to disease, and we're looking here at the effect. For the passive voice, we have another video, so we won't go into detail on how to form that here. Here's some more information on this. Why do we say a virus caused the disease? Well, we know the disease, but we're not identifying which virus caused it in this case. If we say the virus caused the disease, we know for sure which virus it was, and we're willing to identify it. Cause. Here's a review of the patterns we just learned. There are four patterns here. A causes B. For example, fire causes smoke. A is the cause of B. Fire is the cause of smoke. The cause of B is A. The cause of smoke is fire. B is caused by A. Smoke is caused by fire. Now, if we look at these in terms of the meaning, 
Number one and number four mean basically the same thing. Number two and number three mean the same thing. The difference is the focus of the sentence. In some cases, the focus is on the smoke, and in some cases, the focus is on the fire. Are there other words and phrases for this? Pattern one? Sure. Here are some of them. A causes B. A instigates B. A leads to B. A results in B. A brings about B. How about patterns two and three? Here are some examples. A is a cause of B. A is the source of B. A is a reason for B. Notice we changed the preposition here. Pattern three. A source of B is A. A reason for B is A. Notice with this we also change the preposition to for. What about effect? With effect, we normally use patterns two and three. However, we shift the focus from A to B. For example, B is an effect of A. So we're talking about what happened after, not before. An effect of A is B. The effect equals B. For example, Smoke is an effect of fire. The effect of fire is smoke. Another word we often use is result. Again, we shift the focus from A to B. B is a result of A. The result of A is B. For example, Smoke is a result of fire. The result of fire is smoke. Now, in English, we have a special case with the words result in or results in. Fire results in smoke. This is a special meaning, which means fire causes smoke. Remember, Cause is before, and effect is after. Can we say the following? Smoke effects fire. No, that's not logical. Smoke effects by fire. No, that's not grammatical. Smoke is an effect or result of fire. Yes, that's okay. An effect or result of fire is smoke also okay. Smoke is affected by fire. That's possible, but it's not too common. It's more common to say, smoke is caused by fire. And this is okay in the passive voice. If we say smoke is affected by fire, the meaning changes a little bit. It means smoke is influenced by fire. Let's look at the cause and effect table below. This will let you see everything together. For these examples, let's use A to be fire and B to be smoke. Let's look at the first pattern with cause. A causes B. A is the cause of B. The cause of B is A. A is caused by B. Can we say these? A causes B, yes. A is the cause of B, yes. The cause of B is A, yes. A is caused by B. No, this doesn't work. We have to change it to B is caused by A. Fire is not caused by smoke. Smoke is caused by fire. So we have to switch it there. How about with the word effect? B affects A. No, we don't say that. B is an effect of A. Yes, 
that's okay. An effect of A is B. Yes, that's okay. B is effected by A. This is a little bit unusual, but it's okay. It's more common to say B is caused by A. How about other words? A results in B. That's okay. But it is not okay to say A results B. B is the result of A. Okay. The result of A is B. Okay. B is resulted by A. No, that's incorrect. Thanks for watching. Do us a favor and click on the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To see more videos like this, click on the link above. Or check out our websites for more free English learning resources. ESLGold.com and FreeEnglishStudy.com